Hello everyone! Welcome to Bahay Aralan. For this video, we will be talking about the present perfect tense of verbs. The present perfect tense is formed by using the helping verb has or have plus the past participle form of the verb. Has is used if the subject in the sentence is singular or only one, while have is used if the subject in the sentence is plural or more than one. Let us take the verb watch as an example. The present perfect form of this verb is has watched if the subject is singular and have watched if the subject is plural. Another one, see. The present perfect tense of this verb is has seen for a singular subject and have seen for a plural subject. Don't be confused with the simple past and past participle forms of verbs because some verbs have different simple past and past participle forms. Let's have some examples of these verbs first before knowing when to use the present perfect tense of verbs. Ring. Its simple past is rang and its past participle is rung. Sing. Sang. Sung. Begin, began, begun, choose, chose, chosen, become, became, become, bite, bit, bitten, blow, blue, blown, fly, flew, flown, draw, Drew, drawn. Eat, ate, eaten. Alright, now let us know when we can use the present perfect tense of verbs. First one, we use the present perfect tense of the verb for an activity or action that started at some point in the past and is still continuing at present. We usually use for or since with this structure. For example, Jim and Jack have worked at this grocery store since March. This sentence means that Jim and Jack started working at this store last March and they are still working there up to now. That is why the present perfect tense have worked is used in this sentence and have is used because the subject is plural, Jim and Jack. Another example, Lucia has lived in Paris for three years. This means that Lucia started living in Paris three years ago, and she is still living there now. That is why the present perfect tense of the verb has lived is used in this sentence, and has is used because the subject is singular. Lucia. Is it clear? The present perfect tense of the verb is also used to talk about a completed action in the very recent past. We can use the words just or recently to emphasize it. For example, the company has recently opened a new branch in Cebu City. The verb in the present perfect tense in this sentence is has opened. Recently is the word used to indicate that an action has been completed in the recent past. Another example. The workmates have just come back from a seminar in India. The verb in the present perfect tense in this sentence is have come. Just is used to point out that the action or the return has just happened. Clear? We also use the present perfect tense of the verb for a repeated action that happened at some unknown time in the past. For example, we have eaten at that restaurant several times. The verb in the present perfect tense in this sentence is have eaten. And as you can notice, this sentence tells an action or event that happened repeatedly by using several times. But 
the exact dates are not known. Right? Another one. Richie has ridden a Ferris wheel too many times already. The verb in the present perfect tense in this sentence is has ridden. And this sentence indicates that Richie was able to ride a Ferris wheel repeatedly by using the words too many times. Okay? Another use of the present perfect tense of the verb is to indicate an action that happened in the past and the specific time is unknown or not important. For example, Mika has seen the Eiffel Tower. In this sentence, the present perfect tense of the verb is has seen. It only tells that Mika has visited the Eiffel Tower, but the exact time when she went there is not stated because it may not be important. Another one. Khan has read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. The verb in the present perfect tense in this sentence is has read. It indicates that Khan was able to read the book sometime in the past, but when exactly it happened is not known. Right? Now, let us have an activity. What you need to do is give the correct present perfect tense of the verb to complete each sentence. First one. Sadie and I, the verb is know. Each other for 10 years now. The answer is have known. Why? Have is used because the subject is plural. Sadie and I. While known is the past participle of no. Next. Several mountaineers try to reach the top, but nobody ever succeed. Let's have the verb try first. The correct present perfect form is have tried. Why? Because the subject in the sentence is plural, mountaineers. So we need to use have. And the past participle of try is tried. How about the verb succeed? The answer is, has ever succeeded. Why? Because the indefinite pronoun nobody takes a singular verb. So has should be used. And the past participle of succeed is succeeded. By the way, ever here is not a verb. It is only used for emphasis that nobody has made it so far. Another one. Computers become powerful machines with very practical applications. The answer is have become. Have is used because the subject is plural, computers, and the past participle of become is still become. How about this? I think the waiter forget he not take our order yet. For the first verb, its appropriate present perfect form is has forgotten. Has is used because waiter is singular and forgotten is the past participle of forget. Now let's have the second one. Its appropriate present perfect form is has not taken. Has is used because the pronoun he is singular, and taken is the past participle of take. Easy, isn't it? Alright, that would be all for this video. I hope you have learned something from it. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.